Hi, welcome back to my studio. I'm Lisa and I'm in the middle of a studio makeover. I've shared a couple of videos so far which I'll link up below if you want to go and check them out. Basically my studio is in need of a bit of TLC. I work really long hours and I don't have the time to just spend a whole weekend blitzing it. So what I'm doing, I'm breaking it down into little chunks and doing it stage by stage. Right now I'm incredibly tired. I've just worked 11 hours but I really want to do my studio so I'm going to grab one of those moments and spend an hour just working on the next stage and today I'm going to be setting up my three tiered trolley. I've been really looking forward to doing this. I'm going to turn it into a mixed media trolley and I can't wait to get started. So this is my lovely minty trolley that I bought from a hobby craft um, just a couple of weeks ago and it's been sat here empty all this time so it's time to now start filling it. Now as I said I'm going to be doing my studio in little chunks at a time the area I'm about to show you right now is an absolute mess and I think that is next on the list after my tiered trolley this area here so I've got tissue paper in this cupboard which needs to be tidied and cleared out I'm hoping that I can tidy it enough to be able to put stock from my online shop in there afterwards. I'm hoping that I can reduce the tissue paper down to one shelf so I can put the stock in and also close the doors. Because right now I have boxes like this everywhere and they need homes. I hate having things laying around. But this is the messy space. I call it my scrapbooking area and there was a time when I could fit a 12 by 12 there and I could walk past and do bits and pieces. But what I'm thinking is, this is what I'm thinking, taking out the mixed media today, like my paints and things like that, putting them in my trolley, and then another time just tidying up, taking bits and pieces that I don't need, and actually clearing this whole space and painting the cupboards white. So I've got loads of mixed media everywhere, got notepads like sketchbooks and I think I could really really tidy up this space I quite like having things still up here like my paints I do like the color um, I'm not sure I've got Posca pens in here I've got coloring pencils um, jewel tip pens these are quite dangerous here I have lost one where it's fallen down the back so I do need to tidy these I've got a whole cube here of mixed media items, watercolour pencils, um, you name it, it's in here, pastels. Um, so this could go in my trolley, this also then frees up this cube here. And in my, what I call my stationery cupboard, I've got loads and loads of paints down here and I'm hoping to put those in the trolley, which again frees up space here, which would give me good storage I keep all my packing materials in here so that could be really really handy the top tray did come with it as did one of these holders and I purchased an extra one for 250 I'm thinking maybe paint brushes or something would be quite handy but I'm also thinking that we need other pieces of storage to help us keep it nice and tidy I didn't want to go out and spend any extra money so I've just basically gone around the house and tried to find things that would work well for storage. This is what I found. A galvanised bucket, washed out salsa jars, we have a little thing for Ferrero Rocher's so I've got a small one, this one I think was Mother's Day Louis bought me and this is one that Aid bought me. I thought these might be good for the Posca pens. I did buy this from Hobbycraft in the sale for $2.50 and I'm thinking about spray painting that. This is something I bought from Poundland a long time ago. I had paperwork in there which I've just taken out and the colour goes really nicely. It's my favourite colour. And these are just cheap baskets. I've noticed this one's gone a little bit rusty in the bottom but we could still use that. Um, I think they were from like Poundland or something like that, but they were really, really cheap. So we do have options. So I'm thinking the first thing I'm going to do is actually take out, put on the desk, 
everything that I have that could possibly go in the trolley and then decide how I'm going to store it, where it's going to go, that kind of thing. I think that's the first thing I'm going to do. Let me know if you've got one of these trolleys, what colour do you have and what and how have you used it for storage? Um, I'd love to know your ideas. Excuse the pile of boxes over there on my sofa. I'd actually been having a declutter earlier on in the day and I managed to clear out loads of stuff and donate it to friends. So I was in the midst of boxing it up to send it. So it's just all piled there and looks a bit messy. you like to see what I've taken out which could potentially be stored in my trolley. Here on this side we've got paint brushes, bits of paint and random rubbish. Um, we've got this which the glues I don't want to live in there, the, the adhesives are going to live back in the cupboard. Um, I have got other paints, moulding paste, that kind of thing, the Posca pens, um, I've also got my jewel tips, my mermaid pens, um, other jewel tips, and other paints, and spray paints as well. And then on this side, I've got nice sketchbooks, and then anything painty. Um, we've got quite a lot of things here. Pencils, old paint palettes, I might bin that one seen better days and this lives in the base of that cube I have not used these for so long and I just think because it's been so long since I've used them chances are I'm not going to use them so I need to have a think about this basket here how to start filling the trolley I did wonder about seeing if all the Posca pens would fit in the Ferrero Rocher tray my medium size Posca pens fit in here really nicely and there's more space if I wanted to add more I can't take the Ferrero Rocher label off so I will put something over that but they fit in there really nice and my small ones Aidan the kids bought me loads for Christmas I had like the basic ones and then I had loads for Christmas so some I've got duplicates where they bought me sets but these now, the smaller ones and the really chunky ones can live in these. So I've actually got them all in here and I think I'm going to keep them. They feel really safe. They're not the cheapest of pens. And like there where I've lost one behind the um, desk, that kind of makes sense. And it's also not something I use all the time. I also wanted to speak about the type of person you are. If you don't know Clutterbug on YouTube, I really recommend you go and take a look. Um, her channel's really good and it explains what type of person you are as far as organising goes and what kind of thing makes organising easier for you, um, works for you. I know, I can't remember what type, she turns them all into bugs. I'm somebody though that needs things, I need to see things. If I put everything away neatly in a cupboard, I wouldn't think to use it, I wouldn't go and, I don't think I could be bothered to go and find things. I like things on display, I like to be able to see what I've got. It makes me happy, it inspires me, and really helps with my creativity. But I hate mess, mess stresses me out. So I need, but I'm also a fast worker, I'm a fast person, I'm always busy, I like to be able to put things away quickly. So for me to have containers where they're out and I can see them but really easily and quickly tidy away is the absolute perfect way for me. Some people need things to be put away so they can't see it and that's absolutely fine. It just depends what kind of person you are but I really recommend Clutterbug um, to go and have a look and work out what type of person you are and that really helps you then decide what kind of organising system works for you. So for now I'm going to pop the Posca pens down here and I might put my sketchbooks down here for now as well because they're not things that I use that often. I've already changed my mind and moved them up a shelf. I think I'm going to put paint on the bottom. Let's go with paint. Then if there's a spillage, 
it just goes to the bottom and it doesn't then drip on anything else and for now i've put all these paints in this basket i may well change things around i'm just seeing as i go seeing how it works so for now we're going to live like this see again looking through things i've got like some really nice heidi swap paints other bits and pieces i completely forgot that i had because it was all away in the cupboard i just don't ever think to look in there so um this is actually quite helpful actually seeing what i've got I'm actually wondering if the notebooks, my sketchbooks, might even be better off underneath. That could work. Right, I think we're going to sort this basket out and get rid of what we don't need. A lot of these paintbrushes are really old and they're not even usable anymore. So I'm going to see what I can bin. Right, this is what I have. A, I really need to clean these palettes. They're so badly looked after. We've got paint brushes. I really like this. I don't know what I bought it for. Um, it doesn't really need to go in there. Um, and I've got too many water dishes. Um, so let's take one of those out. Now left in this basket is just old credit cards I've cut up to use for um, to apply paint. And this is going to be my rubbish box. And I'm actually thinking about putting the Posca pens back where they lived before to give me that extra space. I'm not sure yet. I think the next thing I might do is empty some of my pencils. I've got a couple of things of pencils. And again, I don't really use them. They could actually live in here. I'll see how tall they are. They're just not user friendly kept in here so for that reason i've had them for years and as you can see they don't really get used to have to like take them out pull them out um they're just a little bit of a pain oh i've just found an old lollipop paper clip there so let's give this a go i think they look much nicer in there i think i would use them more often as well that looks better i think i might do the same with the other pencil tin I do tend to use these a little bit more often. I take them into the lounge sometimes. Um, but I think I may as well just pop them all in there, to be honest. And I've got two sets of watercolour pencils. And again, I never think to use them. So I'm wondering if I put them in the other one, if I will then get them out more often. I never realised how therapeutic this job was going to be. I am loving getting rid of all the packaging and just placing things so I can actually see them. These are my mermaid pens. Again, I don't think to get them out that often because they're just stuck in there. I need to be able to see them. So I've popped them in the old salsa jar and they can live in here now as well. I have put the Posca pens back at my desk. I think they are going to live there. I'm going to add a third salsa jar for my cute little um, highlighter pens. I also think as well, having them still contained like this, if I do want to take anything through to the lounge or work in the garden, they're just easy to pick up as well. So, so far, and I've got my paints here, my ink tents blocks, my other little paints, and then my pen pots down there. I've also got these acrylic markers, but I'm not sure if I want them to live in the trolley. Um, I've kind of like got this other, like with my spray paint, Sorry, I'm making a noise. I might actually pop them in there. It's now decision making time. Do I stuff things in the trolley just for the sake of stuffing them in, but then I free up space in the cubes? Or do I just put things in the trolley that I know I'm going to use? For example, I've got these beautiful pan pastels. Does anybody remember these? They were all the rage a long, long time ago. Could be like 10 years ago. Um, I was working for scrap 
365 magazine and I'm sure it was that magazine we got offered to choose some to work on a project and they sent us these for free we got sent sponges and all things and we could choose our colors they are beautiful my issue is they're so messy which is why I don't use pastels that often I've got these really old dove craft sets from a long long time ago I still use them every now and then they're quite handy with stencils this is my first watercolor set since being an adult I don't use it anymore because I love the one I use so much now this is the one that you see me using all the time I love this one so I think I'm gonna be ruthless and bin the other one I don't use it anymore it's taking up precious space it feels a bit of a waste of space but I'm gonna give the pastels a second chance pop them in here with their applicators and see if I think to use them and it does look quite cute in there let's pop them in there I bought these cheap from the works years ago I haven't used them I think I'm gonna gift them to my niece these chalks mm, I think I'm gonna put them under there so I've made a decision for now the basket with all the sticky glues and things spray paints chalks and the acrylic paint pens I'm going to put in here for now I've got nothing else to put in the cube anyway and I'm just going to put that back where it was plus I have freed up space then in my stationary cupboard as well which can be used as a stock cupboard so make them same mistake as me I've just tried to empty my pencil sharpener and it's just gone everywhere I've got pencil sharpenings all over the floor now I have this really fun smiggle um, pencil sharpener here my niece I don't know if she still is really into smiggle she loved it and so one time I went into smiggle and I bought the same pencil sharpener as her it's really handy so that can go on here as well because I use that lots I want to decide what to put in the little tray that lives on the top do you have accessories and bits and pieces in yours I think I might put things like an eraser and a few pens just quick things to pick up as I pass or it could even be then that I like pull the trolley to my desk or to the other end of my studio so it'd be quite handy if I've got a few kind of like essentials in here like my favorite journaling pens like I said an eraser pencil sharpener that kind of thing I think I've done it I think I have set up my trolley here we go I'm sure like I said I will change things around let's give you a quick look and then I'll tell you exactly what is where and why let's start at the top so we've got coloring pencils watercolor pencils paint brushes this also includes like my um, spatula type um, applicators and sponges and then we've got paint pots like water pots pencil sharpener this is just a pen pot pencils pens I've got a glue pen ruler I always forget I have a glue pen and they're so handy here we've got just some of my favorite journaling pens little knife staples rubber stick it notes and cute paper clips down here I've ended up we've got um, five jars here and we've got the mermaid markers jewel tip other jewel tip and highlighters we've got thin tip that I found on the top that I forgot I had and these again they were just mixed in with other pens and I forget to use them watercolors ink tense blocks watercolors I've put my paint palette in there now and the rest is um, pastels and sponges and then down here we've got all the paints along with Mod Podge um, paste stencil butters glossy accents crackle accents and then a whole variety of paints there as well I think that looks like a very nice mixed media trolley and then obviously I've also got my sketchbooks there underneath too I'm sure I'll end up changing things around and doing different things but for now I'm really pleased and I've freed up loads of space elsewhere so for the time being my Posca pens will live there and this is everything that I've taken out that I do not need that I can either rehome uh, for example I won't bin the basket I'm sure I use that elsewhere but the rest is packaging old paints that are nearly empty packaging glue I don't use paints I don't use that I can rehome um, I think I've done really well 
and some rubbish there, some old paint brushes that I'm going to get rid of. I am still going to leave all this here. I've got my watercolour paint brushes here. I've got other pens, which again, I forget I have other pencils. My, I love my Kaiser colour paints. And then I've also got here, again, I forget I've got all these. These are rollers for mixed media, other paint brushes, loads of stamps. Um, but that can all stay up there. I just think it looks really nice and I like the colour. I do need to tidy up though because I've got two oil burners, um, two candles and two jars of sweets and some very old flowers which need replacing because they're covered in cobwebs and they're dried. But um, I'm going to leave that there for now. The next job on my list which will be this scrapbooking area. I'll be clearing out the cupboard clearing out all of this and turning it into a very usable space and I would like to paint the cupboard white as well so that is next on my list. I hope you've enjoyed this video today, I hope you've enjoyed setting up my trolley with me, let me know if you would have done things differently, do you think like the paints are in the right place or can you think of a reason why something shouldn't be where it is. Um, if you've got experience with using one of these I'm sure you know better than I do because I haven't used one before. But thank you very much for watching, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the future makeover videos, I think this is video number three now, I'll link the other two down below for you. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!